Hi, hi everyone, this is Kansel here. So we're gonna do POG today. It's the start of the new week, so we have the packages refreshed. Uh, we have six of these. They guaranteed five tickets, so that's three zero, and they random chance of getting uh, the rest of the tickets or valid tokens or restrictions grows. So let's see. Uh, if it's all tickets, that's definitely what I want. Six and eight basically because the guarantee is three zero right from six of it. So it's six and eight. Twenty K restrictions grows and it seems like the majority is uh valid tokens. Yep. Which I guess is not too bad. Not the most fantastic result, but yeah. Alright. Okay, so that should bring me to eighty plus in total. Yeah, 81 here. So we'll do the 6 first. We need to clear the normal entrances before we can use the additional entrances. The rest of the repeated ones, I'll just skip ahead to like the last or second last boss. The first one, I'll still, still do the full run. done the uh, orange costumes for my alternates yet. Still considering on that since I haven't been lucky with the orange costume for my darkness. Truth be told I also don't want to go all in because if I do change to Hashashin it will be quite a waste. You will have to repeat for Hashashin. Okay we do have to move someone. Obviously it's going to be my darkness. I'll keep her here for hitting the spirit. Okay, that's an energy spirit. I just got six energy from it. And now we'll move the Dutless back. The Dutless back. Okay, move the Dutless back. The cooldown already uh, hurt, so. But for this boss, it's not an issue. This boss, this formation will do in terms of clearing it because it moves very slowly anyway. You can see here, right? It's not even reached my last line. It's more, it's going to die soon. Okay, level 2 statue. Fire on the Huntress. Burning spot Huntress on this fire. You don't need to move up. I've been considering whether to replace my Lan or my uh, Tamer for Hashashin Because if I do take Hashashin, uh, my POG alternate will have to make space for him And Darkness I will still keep as an alternate character for POG So it then lies, uh, the choice then lies between the two, actually, the, the two mini characters Although I can consider removing the Destroyer as well Ashashin does have uh, two range skills, very similar to uh, Destroyer actually. Okay, we got ourselves the final level of statue. And the buff spirit too. I think 
uh, from the audience, you were saying that this boss in English, the name is Cutting Muro, right? Something like that. It's actually the easiest boss in BOG because his HP is very short. The only thing is his attack is very high. If you cannot kill him in time, right, the damage he can deal the door is ridiculous. This way the destroyer gets the heal. Uh, Chats, we need to move one character over. And probably use the cannon. So probably I'll be losing a character here because the, the thunder is still all the way at the back. Managed to survive a bit because she moved. And this is really. Okay. Oh, not bad. We managed, managed to get two different chests here. Yeah, we got the red badge as well, not just the orange. So that's very nice. Two X. Okay. So I have 81 right, 81 divided by 3 is 27 We did get a pink badge from 24 right So let's try 24 first If it's not good then we'll go with uh, the rest of the numbers Unfortunately we didn't get much of the POG tickets this time around Compared to last round, because the last week I actually got 100 plus tickets. Compared to now, we have 81. But I welcome the restoration scroll. That's fine. 20k restoration scrolls. Restoration scroll is really maybe the one now because we need to pump V I I gear, V triple I gear for the uh, chaos gear. We need to pump the, the rally enhancement and even sushi. I have not been doing my sushi a lot because I have been focusing on the rally enhancement. You only have so this number of the uh, restoration scrolls. In fact, I'm out of dust as well. I'm running low on my dust. That's the other reason why I have not been doing the uh, sushi enhancement. Probably we need to move a character here. I think this is useless, this is the healing one. Yeah, it's the healing whips. Actually you can see it uh, when you put it on to the formation screen, you will see the name of the whips. I'll show you again later when there's another whips that spawns. I was supposed to skip right? Uh, okay, let's skip to like uh, the second wave, second last wave. Okay, here we go, the second last wave. 
Let's hope the boss stops here instead of rushing all the way. That's the whole purpose of us putting uh, additional members at the very front. But it seems like it's going all out. Yeah, it's going all out. So, let's see. Ah, okay. So if the cannon all three hits land, we can kill him. But we didn't. So now I need to wait 2 seconds to move the character over. Probably move the gun, but it's good enough. The door wouldn't die anyway, would the brick. Okay, now we have the uh, last boss, the dragon. Rather than moving the land, I think I should move the uh, others to the front. Right, Bob, you. And we just wait for you to die. Oh, chance, we only got one. It is uh, four orange. Two ads is fine, although we want three ads. I guess we'll just continue with 24 for now. The moment he hits 1.5 is the moment where I change. Alright, let's continue. I think I should do 27 so that we can finish it in 2 runs, right? 27 and 30. Uh, okay. That's fine, we can do one last round later. Uh, let's just do 30 and 27, and you, let's hope we don't get 1.5x when we increase the multiplier, or rather the number of uh, tickets we are using. So anyway, I need to use 29. Let's give 29 a try. I think I was switching my bleach for the advantage. So all the range characters are the back. Ah, the boss did a last minute rush, so I have to move my character here. Okay, anyway, I am going to skip ahead to the second or the last boss. Okay. Skip ahead to the last boss. Let's see how it goes. Unfortunately, my darkness had to move to the back to take care of the second last boss. So now we move her back to the front here to deal with the dragon. And just in case someone dies, we heal up. Or we didn't get any good patches, it seems. Okay, one last run. This time is twenty I'll skip ahead to the last boss. Okay, now we have the last boss and the last of the runs. Hope we can get a 3x. So I get enough materials for enhancing the POG badge. Oh, done that's in front as well. I 
did I get a good batch? If we got a good batch, it's also more materials for enhancement. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna get 1.5x then. Okay, so it's a constant 2x throughout. Uh, it's not fantastic, but at least it's not 1.5x all the way. Obviously, we want 3, but yeah. Alright, so let's uh, use up all our materials for enhancing the PUG match. First, we got a raid batch, followed by 16 oranges. That's quite bad, by the way. We should not be getting so low in terms of the uh, badges. We should be getting maybe at least one more raid. Or more orange in fact. Okay, we gotta turn off the auto. Yeah, that's fine. Because there are too many orange stuff that I don't want to bring anyway, so Okay, so we got 3k of the uh, tokens, the glory tokens. So total we have 20k of the glory tokens now. Let's do the enhancement. Hopefully we can get at least two levels here. Because it increases uh, exponentially by a lot. So you see, I can only get one level because from day one to day two I already need 13k tokens. If I got a few 3x just now, I might be able to get two levels. But as of now, yeah, it's the best we can do. We will have needed another 7 plus k. So I needed to have at least two 3x just now on top of the existing two to actually get enough materials. Okay. So anyway, the, that, that is it for the uh, POG enhancement. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.